In this super pass review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this no-code website tool. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for SuperPass. SuperPass lets you monetize your podcast, blog, and video content on a no-code website. After you've signed up and entered your brand name, it will ask you for your brand logo, where you can upload a file, and you also have the option of uploading a square logo icon as well. You can then set your appearance from light or dark. It's got a preview there. And then you can set your theme colors. You can choose from white, blue, green, etc. Or you could also go on the color picker and choose the shades you want. Once you're happy there, if you go ahead and click on next. Here we can now choose our template to kickstart our site design. So as you can see, we've got a few different options there. This would probably depend on what your website's for or what you're going for. If we hover over the template, we can scroll as well. So I really like this website, so I'm going to go for this one and go ahead and go on next. Here we can preview our template. And then once you're happy, if we go on build in editor, and now we can start building our website. So first things first, in the first section, we've got the edit button where this section on the left hand side will appear and we can start changing the text. So we could change the intro text. We could change the heading, which is this bit here and the subtitle, which is this section here. You can also set your text alignment. So left hand side, central or the right hand side. I'm going to go for central. We can then click on background image where you could upload your own background image. You also have the option of choosing from the library if you'd already uploaded some images. Once that's uploaded, you can choose the image alignment, as it's quite big, so it fits the whole thing. You can also set the overlay, so you can make it a little bit darker so it sort of blends in. I've not used the best pitch, for example, there, but just to show you. You can also set the front image, which is this one here. And as we can see, that's now changed. Again, you can set the image position, where you want it to sit. I'm happy with it there. And then the image rounding, so you could also make it square, or we could have it sort of rounded curves. I like the look of that one, so we'll leave it as that. Below there, we also have appearance, where you can set your theme from day, night, or the standard. Then got the option to change the block padding. And obviously, at any time, we can scroll through our site. This is just for this block here. Now, if you wanted to completely delete this block, you could just click on the delete button and make this from scratch. Once we're happy there, if we go on save block, and then this section is now saved. You also have the option of copying this as well and duplicating it. Below there, we have this block here. We could obviously move this to the top. We could duplicate it, delete it, or again, we could edit it. So we could set our intro again, our heading, subtitle if we wanted one, set the alignment. Again, we can upload a background image. We can change the front images, their position, the image rounding. So it could go like that, like a circle. The appearance, day, night, standard. And in this section, we can also add buttons. So we've got one button, which is the start now button. You could click on the little pen to edit this. You could type in there, whatever you want. And then we can also set the link of where that's going to take you. So if that takes you over to the register page, you'd put that in there or whatever. You can also set the button style. So if it's just text, if it's a full circle, somewhere in the middle, we'll leave it as that. And you can also add another button. So you could go on create button. We could leave that as subscribe now, click on done. And then you've got two buttons there. Once you're happy with this block, again, save block. Now, obviously you want to keep doing this with every block and customize this so it fits your website. Each block will sort of have some different features. So for example, this one's got featured items where it's got nice to meet you and it's got a short little bio. Say if you are promoting a product, we could edit that, set the product title, then you could upload an image, set a little bio maybe about the product. And then you could also add a button text as well and a link doesn't have to be a product though this could be a brand image and then just a short bio now obviously you can just scroll through and keep on editing or you can click on some of the selections here which will take you to various parts of the page and you can edit them from this you can also add in a new page block 
and you could choose from headline call to action, left right side image, featured items, marketing video, text, quotes, app download link or contact form. So if I went for quotes first, so you could add in a head in there and a subtitle or we could just go straight to content and go and create quote. So review a name, I'm going to go for Helen, we could upload an image. And then we could add our quote. We could set her rating. So we could go full five stars and click on done. So if we also wanted to add in a marketing video, then we could add this below. You could set the intro, watch our video is fine. The heading, the subtitle. You could upload a background image if you wanted one. Set the appearance. And as it says here, it will show a video that's been uploaded in our branded setting page. This will show at the bottom. Now, if you wanted to edit the branding, if we just click on the little pen icon there on the left hand side, then we've got these options. We've got logo and icon, font, colors, buttons, and SEO settings. So for logo and icon, we've got our brand logo there. You can also upload a square icon and you can also upload a favicon there as well. We then have font where you could customize your font. We've got loads of options to choose from PT serif. DM Sans, Oxygen, and if we save this, it will then change our fonts. Below that, we have colors, so this will be our color scheme. And obviously, we selected this earlier, but maybe once you've started building your site, you realize that you don't like these colors, so you want to change them. So we could change them to a darker blue. Go ahead and go and save, and that's going to change them. Alternatively, you might want it to be in dark mode, so we could click on dark mode, click on save. And that's going to change things like the header. Below colors, we have buttons where you can set your button rounding for all of the buttons. And finally, we have SEO settings where we've got our page title, our page description or meta description, images shared with our site. We can change them and remove them. You might have also noticed at the top that this is currently set as a desktop. If we clicked on the little phone, then this will show what our site will look like on a smartphone. Once you're all happy with your site, you can go ahead and go on preview and this will open your site in a new tab and you get a full fledged preview of your site. There's a quote that we added, our video, we haven't got any uploaded so nothing will show there. And there's our intro. And then once you were completely happy, you could go and save changes and your site will then be saved. If we click on the back button, this takes us over to the dashboard where again, we can preview our website or add content. We also have an array of options here. Get started will take us over to the section we've just been in. Branded, again, is where we can upload our logos, our icons, our colors, our theme, and our marketing video. We also have settings, which is a general settings about your site. Menu and footer, where it shows a preview. We've also got our footer link groups, footer text, and any social media links you might want to add. You can just click on create there, put in the link, choose the network, and that will then show on your website. We obviously have the website builder, which again is the section we've just been on. And below website builder, they also have app builder. Below there, we have content, where we've got content layouts, RSS imports, and media library. We've then got commerce, where we've got products, payment stores, sales, codes, and contact form where you could customize your form, set the display options, upload a contact image, and your company information. And then below that we have users. Currently it's just got me, but we could import another user or we could export the users to CSV. We've then got push notifications, integrations, and activity. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of Superpass? Superpass is a fantastic tool that allows you to create a really professional looking website. It was really easy to customize your site to your liking and there was a whole range of different features. Superpass was a fantastic website builder and I would definitely recommend. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.